so cryptanalysis are going to give you the more strong method of avoiding the attack by the adversaries in stream ciphers encryption and decryption are done using one symbol at a time we are going to use only one key or one symbol at a time monoalphabetic is all the characters will be changed to the same cipher text character hello students welcome to the next session of uh, network security in the last session i just stopped the discussion or explanation till the cryptanalysis of uh, transposition ciphers isn't it in that i told you about one of the possible attack on the cipher text that is the pattern attack in the pattern attack we are going to assess a pattern if you are an adversary you are going to assess a pattern that can be drawn using a key that pattern can be used to decrypt the message is it not today along with the pattern attack we have a solution for that how do you avoid the pattern attack along with that we'll be discussing the difference between the stream and the block ciphers what are the stream ciphers and the block ciphers all right let's move on to the session the first thing that we are going to learn in this session is the double transposition ciphers as i said we have a method that can be used to avoid the pattern attack is the double transposition ciphers what you are going to do in this double transposition cipher is it will make the task of attacking the cipher text difficult so cryptanalysis are going to give you the more strong method of avoiding the attack by the adversaries in this the double transposition cipher the algorithm is executed double time twice the time if you are going to execute the normal cipher algorithm one time to generate a cipher text for to be the safer site in double transposition cipher the same algorithm is executed twice for encryption as well as decryption double encryption will be done on the plain text along with that double decryption will be done on the cipher text which avoids the assessing of the pattern by the adversary okay different key can be used in each step if you are using two steps you can use different keys or you can use a single key for double task or double execution of the algorithm both the things are possible if you use two keys it will become more stronger and less possibility or less vulnerable to the attack let's look at how you can execute the double or algorithm will be executed twice in this is here we have the same example enemy attacks tonight how do you generate the double transposition cipher is first thing is first step is one time execute the algorithm that is the columnar transposition cipher by using the three steps write row by row permute columns read column by column we'll get one step of the middle text it is not the ultimate text ultimate cipher text it is the middle level cipher text which gives you this text now on this middle cipher text once again the same encryption algorithm will be 
applied. Now we have to write this text row by row like this. Now same rows will be written E T T H E then we have A K I M A will be written row wise O T Y C N then Z N T S G so this will be written like this permute the columns same value 3 1 4 5 2 now we have T I Y T T I Y T next is 1 E a O Z. Next we have 4 H M C Z. Then we have 5 E A N G. And we have the second column T K T N. Now we have the permutation of the columns in second cipher text or middle cipher text. Now it will be read column by column. T I Y T E A O Z H M C S H M C S E A N G Y K T N. Double time the algorithm will be executed for avoiding the pattern attack on the cipher text. Okay. When it comes to decryption, reverse method will be done. Write column by column. These values will be written column by column. Then permute the columns based on the decryption key. Okay. Then read row by row. Again, for on that middle plain text, it is not the ultimate plain text. It is the middle plain text. On that middle plain text, once again, the cipher algorithm will be executed. All the three steps will be repeated which gives you the final plain text or the original plain text which avoids the pattern attack. Even though the adversary gets the pattern of this cipher text, he will not be able to predict the original message because it will give the pattern of the middle cipher text. This cipher text pattern, he can decrypt only middle text, not the original message. Okay. Again, that is what it reduces the possibility of pattern attack because some chances are there that the adversary can even apply the same key set on the middle plain text but the possibility of pattern attack is very much less in case of double transposition ciphers. Alright, so this is something about the sum of the transposition ciphers that are generally used in the cryptography. Okay, let us move on to the concept of stream and block ciphers. Before going to the block ciphers, let us look at what are the stream ciphers? Why they are called as the stream ciphers? What are the technical things that are used in the stream ciphers? What are the examples of stream ciphers? They are not the new strife ciphers, but the ciphers we have already studied will be categorized into stream ciphers and block ciphers. Let's have a look at what are the 
different ciphers that can be categorized as stream ciphers and the category of block ciphers will have how many categories of or how many different types of ciphers all right the security network security or the principles and the rules divides the symmetric ciphers same keys used symmetric key ciphers are broadly categorized into two types one is the stream ciphers another one is the block ciphers all right these definitions are applied to the modern ciphers usually modern ciphers will be following the stream and the block ciphers this categorization also applies to the traditional ciphers also so these are all what we have studied till today's session all are the traditional ciphers okay these traditional ciphers can also be categorized into stream and block ciphers what are the different types of ciphers that are categorized as stream let us have a look at that okay in stream ciphers encryption and decryption are done using one symbol at a time we are going to use only one key or one symbol at a time for both the encryption as well as the decryption all right if we have a plain text stream you can have a single plain text or you can have plain text stream there will be a cipher text stream also which can be generated using a key stream okay the plain text stream and the key stream will combine you to give the cipher text stream all right if you call the plain text stream as p the cipher text stream as c and the key stream as k you can draw the expression for encryption and decryption like this p will be having set of plain text stream p1 to pn you can have you have a cipher text stream counting from c1 to cn along with that you can have set of keys key stream k1 k2 up to kn it may be less than the number of plain text characters or may be equal to number of plain text characters okay but it will be less than or equal to plain text and cipher text characters all right you can draw the encryption expression like this c1 equals e of k1 key 1 will be used with the plain text character p1 if it is cipher text c2 it will be using key set key from key stream that is k2 and second character from the plain text like that we can move up to cn equals e of kn into p of n you can have n number of characters both in plain text as well as in cipher text along with that you can have the decryption the reverse of the encryption same encryption will be reversed in case of the decryption all right apart from that stream ciphers the characters are fed into the encryption algorithm one at a time not the entire characters are fed to the algorithm at once instead each character will be read by the algorithm at once all right the cipher text characters are also created one at a time as so as the plain text is executed by the algorithm encryption algorithm the cipher text will be generated okay and the same way as the encryption is done okay De decryption will be reversing the encryption procedure okay key stream can be created in different ways as we have seen additive inverse or multiplicative inverse any kind of you can have 
or you can generate key stream in different ways okay it may be stream of predetermined values there may be keys already given to you for encrypting a plain text or it may be created it may be predetermined generated previously or may be created one value at a time using an algorithm maybe there may be kind of algorithm which generates the key or maybe some algorithms which needs the key that must be generated by the sender all right both the methods are available then you can have the ciphers cryptography which use doesn't use as a key that is keyless transposition cipher you can have so many types all right if you have a plain text you take the text as p l a i n plain it will be encryption algorithm will be executed like this d will be decryption equals k3 into a okay a is set of keys that will be generated it will be carrying the decrypted text along with the encryption algorithm okay in this we are using the third character to encrypt the message so that the third character a will be applied to the encryption expression so that the third character will be generated two first two characters are generated corresponding to pl whereas a will be executed or a will be encrypted using the key 3 first plain text p1 will be encrypted using the k1 key k1 whereas the second character in the plain text will be encrypted using the key k2 and the third character will be encrypted using the key character k3 which will generate the third character in the cipher text all right apart from that the examples or categories of ciphers that can be categorized into stream ciphers is one is the additive ciphers okay additive ciphers come into the category of stream ciphers why is like that key stream is the repeated value of the key same key set is used for the entire message and the key will be applied to each of the character stream wise in a stream manner the key will be applied to the plain text that is why it is called as the it belongs to the category of stream ciphers in other words the key stream is considered as a predetermined stream of keys in additive ciphers the user or the sender has to generate the set of keys isn't it those set of keys will be applied to each of the character in the plain text which is called as the stream cipher okay there will be stream of keys in the stream ciphers k k k it will be single key that means even if you have 100 messages only one key will be used so one by one character will be encrypted using the single key that is why it is called as the stream ciphers okay in this cipher each character in the cipher text depends on the corresponding character it depends the cipher text generation depends on the character not on the position only on the corresponding character which is the character used in the encryption all right because the key stream is generated independently there will be same key used for the entire algorithm for the entire message so that you will get the stream of cipher text as we have stream of plain text you will get the stream of cipher text all right another example is the mono alphabetic substitution ciphers all the mono alphabetic additive multiplicative all the mono alphabetic substitution ciphers 
can be categorized as stream ciphers. All right. However, each value of the key stream in this monoalphabetic characters is the mapping of the current plain text character, which is being encrypted to the corresponding cipher text. There will be no changing of the position, nothing. Only using key, you will be mapping the plain text with the cipher text. Okay. There will be a mapping table which provides you the generation of mapping or the combination of cipher text which was obtained by the plain text. All right. Another cipher method we have is the visionary cipher. In visionary cipher, the stream of ciphers are used. That means set of ciphers are keys are repeated, isn't it? If you remember the method of visionary cipher, you can get to know that we are using the repetition of same set of keys to all the characters in the message, isn't it? Again, it is also a type of stream ciphers. What happens in visionary cipher is the key stream is repetition of m values. If we have three values or five values or seven values, it will be repeated to entire set of message, is it not? Where m is the size of the keyword. Keyword will be repeated for all the available message, right? In other words, you can say that set of key or key stream will be defined like this k1 k2 to km and repeated again k1 k2 to km. How many characters you have? For all the characters, only this set of keys is applied to get the cipher text. All right. So this is again visionary cipher is also a type of stream cipher. Next we have the type of uh, another example that is you can establish the criteria to divide the stream ciphers based on the key stream. How many key streams or how you are going to generate the key will be the part which decides whether a cipher method belongs to the stream cipher or to the block ciphers. Okay, we can say that a stream cipher is a monoalphabetic cipher. Monoalphabetic is all the characters will be changed to the same cipher text character. Okay, if the value of ki, k set of key does not depend on the position, okay, position of the plain text character, most of the stream ciphers does not depend on position of the characters in the plain text or in the cipher text. It only depends on what is the character, not on where is the character, only on what is the character, okay, in the plain text stream. Otherwise, the cipher is polyalphabetic, okay. If it doesn't depend on the position of the character, we can categorize it as the monoalphabetic. If it depends on the position, it will be polyalphabetic. Based on the position, the character will be changed. The cipher text will be changed, isn't it? The additive ciphers, the first cipher that we have studied is definitely a monoalphabetic stream cipher because the ki in the key stream is always fixed. You will have only one key in the additive cipher and it does not depend on the position of the character. If you revise or recall the method of generating cipher text in additive cipher, you will get to know that whatever may be the position of the character, same character will be generated in the cipher text. Is it not? Why it is called as the monoalphabetic uh, substitution cipher is, it doesn't depend on the position, okay? Whereas the visionary cipher are 
polyalphabetic ciphers because it changes based on the position. Okay, if you have this text, you will change the value. Suppose if it is A, B, C, D, so you are going to decrypt it. L will have different character generated. Again, L will have another L we have, but that will generate different character. That means based on the position, the ciphertext character will change, okay, which is a polyalphabetic character. It is a stream type of cipher, but not monoalphabetic. It is polyalphabetic stream ciphers because the key depends on the position of the plain text character. However, the dependency of the key on the position of the character is cyclic. In case of visionary cipher, it is cyclic, okay? It is going to repeat the same set of key streams for all the characters in the message. The key is the same for two characters if the position is same, okay? For two characters, M position apart, if the position is same for the same character, then the ciphertext character generated will also be same. Here, in visionary cipher, we'll be having set of characters generated. As you know, visionary cipher uses the repeated set of keys. It will be repeated to the entire message. So, visionary cipher can be termed as polyalphabetic polyalphabetic stream cipher. Whereas additive ciphers can be termed as monoalphabetic monoalphabetic stream ciphers. If you look at the different set of uh, stream ciphers, you can have the list like additive ciphers, multiplicative ciphers, affine cipher, all these type of ciphers belong to the category of monoalphabetic monoalphabetic stream ciphers Whereas auto key ciphers, auto key ciphers, play fair ciphers, visionary ciphers. Hill cipher and the rotor cipher. Or belongs to the category of polyalphabetic 
पॉलीआल्फाबेटिक स्ट्रीम साइफर्स ऑल राइट सो वी हैव दीज मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ साइफर्स विच बिलोंग्स टू द मोनो अल्फाबेटिक स्ट्रीम साइफर्स एंड द पॉली अल्फाबेटिक स्ट्रीम साइफर्स एंड द एंटायर सेट ऑफ साइफर्स बिलोंग टू वन कैटेगरी ऑफ साइफर दैट इज सिमेट्रिक की साइफर्स so you can use all these types of ciphers belong to a single category that is symmetric key ciphers all right now in the next session i'm going to explain you or i'm going to tell you about what are the different ciphers that comes under the category of block ciphers there are many ciphers which come under the category of mono alphabetic stream ciphers then we have polyalphabetic stream ciphers in polyalphabetic stream ciphers we have three categories one is the auto key cipher visionaire cipher and the rotor cipher which comes under the category of stream polyalphabetic stream ciphers other categories may come under block ciphers in the next session i'm going to explain you about the block ciphers and what are the different ciphers that come under the category of block ciphers all right thank you